will give you a talk soon on CD. So now we are going to discuss the connection formula in the WKB approximation. Okay? So if you look at the WKB approximation, which says if V of x is a slowly leading function, if V of x is a slowly leading function, then I can write my psi of x is of the form some constant e raised to i in the Quantum particle. 
but classically that is not uh, permissible. So that is why these regions are called classically important regions and these regions are called classically allowed regions and these are called the turning point. Okay. So I think uh, you, you might be knowing uh, why it is called turning point etc. So that I am not going to discuss all those aspects here. So better you can uh, uh, go and refer to any classical mechanics textbook. So there you will get a very beautiful idea about the turning point. So the simple thing is that classically the particle cannot go beyond x0. So if the particle is going from, from some point here to here, it should return from this point. It cannot go beyond this particular point. Okay, so you might have seen this kind of problem in harmonic oscillator, etc. It is the particle cannot uh, go beyond uh, the amplitude. So amplitude is a maximum displaced position. So it should come back after its amplitude. So that is classically possible thing or uh, classically the permitted uh, distance is, uh, in which it can go. Okay. But a quantum mechanic is the particle can go beyond the x0 as well. So that is uh, an entirely different thing. Okay. So anyhow we are uh, discussing about the WKB approximation. In the WKB approximation, so till now we have discussed this fact. Okay. Now, Near the turning point, this approximation is not valid. So then, how do you connect the wave function, the WKB wave function, the classically allowed region, and the wave function, the classically forbidden region? Okay. So that is we are going to discuss now. Okay. So therefore, for the time being, what you can do is, uh, since there is only one turning point present here, I can fix my origin as x0. So this for this x0, I will choose as my origin. Okay. So instead of v at x0, I will write v at x equal to 0. So this point I have chosen as my origin. So therefore, the classically forbidden region are the region with x greater than 0 and classically allowed region are the region with x less than 0. Okay. Now, the region very near to this turning point the region very near to this turning point. Okay, so I am uh, drawing slightly bigger. So at very near to the turning point, at the, in this region, the WKB approximation is not valid. In this region, WKB is not valid. The best thing is we can find the exact Schrodinger equation near to the turning point. Okay, now you know before going to finding the exact Schrodinger equation, the solution for the exact Schrodinger equation, first we can simplify the expression for potential. Okay, now near the turning point, I can explain my potential V of x in the Taylor series. So V of x I can write the potential at x equal to 0 plus x by 1 factorial v prime at 0 plus x square by 2 factorial v double prime at 0 plus x. So since the potential is slowly varying, the second derivative of the potential at x equal to 0 must be very small compared to uh, the first derivative of potential. So we can neglect all higher order terms. We can neglect the terms of the quadratic in x. We can uh, take the approximation only at uh, the first term. So therefore v of x approximately written as v of 0 and v of 0 is nothing but energy e plus v prime of 0 in x. Okay. So near the turning point, I can write my potential in this form. So this is a linearization of potential. I can I can approximate the potential as a linear function near the turning point. So near the turning point, so near the turning point, this potential I can approximate as a straight. So this is just an equation for a straight. So near the turning point, I can approximate the potential as a straight. Okay, so therefore what would be my Schrodinger equation? Okay, so better I will remove you know, this Schrodinger equation would be minus x bar square by root of m b square sin by dx square plus instead of potential I can write e plus b prime and 0 in x 
so that means we can extend the region of uh, the linearized potential region so we can extend the region of linearly potential linear, linearized potential region to some more extent okay so in those region both iv function wave function and wkb wave function are valid now this iv function i can call it as a patching wave function is in order to connect okay so what i will do is we will find or it is possible to extend this potential region to some more to the left side okay so then we can have this small region so here both wkb approximation and the patching wave function is valid so when we use a patching wave function the patching wave function is applicable if the potential is a linear function of x so we can approximate the potential is a linear function of x to some more extent okay then and at those region the wkb is also valid so both wkb wave function the patching wave function must be equal in this region and therefore this region will call it as a overlap region that region is called overlap region so using the overlap region i can connect the pat patching wave function and the wkb wave function for x less than 0 and similarly this uh, linearization of potential can be extended to the right side as well okay so then we can consider a region here so here both the wkb and patching wave function is valid the wkb and patching wave function is valid so this region is again called the overlap region so this is also called overlap region so we have two overlap region so one is for x less than 0 and second is for x greater than 0 now here also we can connect the wave function the wkb wave function and the patching wave function so through that way i can connect the wkb wave function from both sides so that is the idea behind the connection formula okay so i will repeat once again your the wkb approximation is not valid around the classical turning points so for that first we have done is first we have found the expression for the wave function the actual expression for the wave function near the turning point for which we have approximated the potential so we have linearized our potential near the turning points i can i can assume the potential is a linear function of x so if the potential is a linear function of x then the schrodinger equation will take the form of air equation and therefore the corresponding solution would be air functions okay and the, the wave function near to that region i can call it as a patching wave function because it will it connects the wave function from both sides so it is an intermediate wave function so that is why we are using the term patching wave function So the patching wave function should take the form of air functions. Okay. Now, in order to connect the patching wave function and the WKB wave function, so we have to find a region in which both condition is valid. That is, both the WKB approximation and the linearized potential is valid. So that those region would be in the case for x less than zero, it would be just left to uh, the turning point region and. Uh, Uh, this wkb region so this region is called the overlapping region so in which both the wkb approximation and the patching wave functions vary and similarly we can find an uh, another uh, overlapping region on the right side as well so here also we can connect the wkb wave function and the patching wave function so with this i can connect the wkb wave function the classically allowed region and the wkb wave function on the the classically formal region through the patching wave function and that formula is called the connection formula okay so we will do uh, the all the necessary steps to how to connect these things for this particular problem in the next thank you